When it comes to networking, the reality is the vast majority of you guys are lazy. The vast majority of you guys are selfish. And the vast majority of you guys, you're just not doing it. And so what do I mean by that? And when I say you, I probably mean you. Um, if I don't mean you, I mean the person next to you, but it's probably you. And if you're like, oh, it's definitely not me, then it's definitely you for sure, for, for sure. But um, what, what do I mean? So let's talk about laziness. So how many of you guys are, are building a personal brand? Like really, really building a personal brand. Great, so if you're not, you're lazy. And, and the reality is if you're not, you're allowing other people to build your personal brand for you. Because your personal brand, your brand is just your reputation. It's just the way people see you and perceive you and what they know about you and how they know your story. And man, it makes me extremely uncomfortable to allow other people to, to tell my story. And so that's all branding is for me. It's just putting my story out there and being able to control that narrative because it's my story, right? And I think the last thing that I would say about the vast majority is that you're liars. And what do I mean by liars? So withholding the truth is the exact same thing as lying. And chances are when you walked in here today, you probably walked up to someone and you said, hey man, how are you? Or, or hey, how are you? And they said, great, how are you? Great. And you lied. You're not great. You've got struggles that you're going through. You've got things that are, that are painful in your life right now. But we put on this air about ourselves. We put on this fake facade like everything's awesome when it's not. And what does that do? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing for you. And what it also does is nothing for that person that you just interacted with. Because the reality is if you went up to someone or if someone went up to you and said, hey, how, how are you doing? Like, man, not that great. Yeah, I'm struggling in, in this area of life. I'm struggling to find you know, new prospects for my business. I'm struggling with my marriage. I'm struggling with my kids. I'm struggling with that. I guarantee you that other person isn't gonna say, well, I'm great, and then walk by. That other person is probably gonna open up because you were vulnerable and because you were authentic and transparent. They're probably gonna open up and say, well, man, I'm, I'm struggling in that area too, or I'm struggling in, in this area. And what happens when that occurs is an actual connection takes place. An actual conversation takes place. And that's what networking actually is. Networking is not showing up at a bar, getting two drink tickets, and checking a box for your employer that you did work that evening. Chances are it, you are going to that event because you're lazy and you haven't done the things that you need to provide the business you need, so you're gonna go find it tonight. Or you're just going to that event that night to avoid being at home, both of which are a problem. All right, guys. Just got done with a 4.30 workout on Saturday morning. I think that's probably the uh, epitome of what this challenge has done. No possible way I would be in here. Not only that, but I'm just freaking, I'm drenched and exhausted. And uh, I feel like I'm about to die. Not really, kind of. But uh, just got a great workout in. Got to get another one in later today. And hang out with the family. And uh, have a great weekend. We got to get a little rest in. We're headed to Seattle on Monday. So excited about that. Some more travel documenting. This 75 hard challenge, which just adds a whole other layer of complexity and difficulty. Uh, to what we're doing, especially when we come back Thursday, because we got like a 6 a.m. flight, so we're gonna have to be up at like 3:30 or 4 anyways, and we don't get back to the East Coast till like 6. So, if you get two workouts in, it never gets any easier. You just get better, and I think that's probably the moral of the story today.
now getting to the rental car center about 11 o'clock, which is 2 a.m. our time. Got to get this rental car, get to our hotel in downtown Seattle. Still got to get this <laughs> second workout in somehow and uh, call it a night. It's going to be a late one. And these are those times where you're stretched to the max with this challenge. But that's my encouragement to everybody. And the reason I'm doing this is because with my schedule, if I can get this done, there's really no excuse why you can't get it done. So we'll get it in and make it happen and uh, be better for it. We are here in Seattle, Washington, right downtown, and uh, as stereotypical as humanly possible, it's cold and rainy. But I uh, just got done with lunch, uh, just annihilated the phones before lunch, set seven meetings so far. Set seven meetings so far for tomorrow. Um, goal this afternoon to set seven more uh, for Thursday and Friday. But uh, making it happen this morning in uh, Seattle, Washington. All right, what's up guys? Recapping day 30 of 75 hard, and I just got done with the second workout. I'll get into that in just a second. But um, today, going on like, I don't know, three and a half, four hours sleep, uh, trained one of our new agents here in Seattle um, all day from seven till 5 p.m.-ish. Um, did the first workout, which was outside. It was like 49 degrees and raining, not drizzling, it was raining. And I had that 32 pound vest on, but we ran uh, four straight miles, 45 minutes, got that done. And the hills around here in downtown Seattle are just crazy. We did a ton of stairs on the hills. So it was a pretty brutal uh, workout. Um, went and got dinner and just came back to the room. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do 10 push ups every minute on the minute for my 45 minute workout inside. And so 450 push ups, which you know, that's maybe the lesson from today is, you know, it can seem very daunting to just say, hey, I'm gonna drop down and do 450 push-ups. It seems unrealistic, it seems crazy. But spread them out into 10 uh, groups of 10, sets of 10, um, every minute on the minute, and it's still extremely difficult, and that's probably the key. It's not gonna make it easier by spreading it out. It's not gonna make it easier by putting a system in place to get it done. Still gonna be incredibly hard work, but I was able to finish it versus if I would just sat down and try to do as many as I could until failure. And the many as I could until failure, it would have been horrendous. But just got those 450 push ups uh, in. Just got my 10 pages re uh, read before that. So another perfect, flawless execution on this 75 hard on day 30. So I guess technically we're fully a month in and uh, 45 days left. Cannot wait to see uh, what happens over these next 45 days. I'm um, seeing awesome results uh, with my body, my mind, and really every single aspect uh, of my life. And i um, super excited about that and super grateful for it. Just got done with the four and a half mile run here in downtown Seattle, just weaving in and out of people. It's like high traffic, busy time on the streets. Felt like I brought parkour back, if that's still a thing. But uh, awesome day today. I had meetings kind of crisscrossing all over uh, King County uh, here in Seattle. Um, finished up around four o'clock, uh, straight into this run. I still got a second workout I got to get in tonight. Uh, get a little weights uh, done this evening at the hotel gym and uh, get some 10 pages read and got to get to bed earlier tonight. I've got to get to bed earlier tonight because we got a 6 a.m. flight tomorrow morning and uh, we got to turn in a rental car. So it's going to be up early in the morning, traveling all the way back to the East Coast. And I got to go straight from there, pick up my daughter. Then I got to figure out how to get two workouts in. Uh, my wife's out of town. So I got to figure out how to get two workouts in with my daughter. And yeah, that's going to be a difficult task for tomorrow. But we'll think about that tomorrow. I'm going to focus on finishing out today. So uh, awesome city. I love being here in Seattle. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time here, even though it's been busy, been chaotic. 
It's been, uh, it's been an awesome experience. And uh, man, day 31 is down. Second month, we're fully in the swing of things and feeling absolutely, absolutely incredible.